danced around the lodge hall last week. The kingfish's mom-in-law moved in on him, and to get rid of her, the kingfish promoted a romance between her and a wealthy man about town, Mr. Hubert J. Smithers. And it was beginning to work, because by the end of one week, his mom-in-law and Mr. Smithers was cooing like a pair of turtle doves. Oh, Ramona. Oh, Hubert. Well, romance takes money. And the kingfish persuaded Sapphire to tap their savings account so Mama could keep up a good front. At the end of the second week, they was engaged. And by the time Mama's trousseau was bought, Sapphire's balance was a little on the anemic side. Mrs. Smithers and Mama eloped up to East Chester, Connecticut for the marriage. The kingfish had spent over $2,000 of Sapphire's money. When back in New York, disaster struck the old kingfish right between the eyes. Hubert Smithers, holy mackerel! He been doing it all over the country. He poses as a millionaire and then takes these women for all the money they got. And I's the one that brought them together. If Sapphire find out about this, she's gonna kill me. Yeah, she's gonna kill me dead. Boys, I got to get up to Connecticut and bust up this wind. Uh, come on, Andy. We'll use my yeah, car. Well, they got at least an hour's head start on you. It's our only chance. We're liable to get a chance to hit them all. And then the Kingfish and Andy set out for Connecticut to head off the bridal party. Andy and the Kingfish really hit the open road. And some of it wasn't quite so open. Well, the wedding was scheduled for two at a little church up in Eastchester. And a little after three, the Kingfish and Andy finally got there. Kingfish, we were too late. Now, don't say that, Andy. Or maybe we ain't. Or maybe we... You're right, Andy. Here come the wedding party now. I'll tell you, Andy. I... Oh, Ramona. Wait a minute. Ramona. What happened? What goes on here? Step aside, Bert. I missed the sniffer. What happened? Oh, poor Ramona. It was terrible. Going up the aisle, she slipped on a rose petal. I think her leg is broken. Broke her leg going up the aisle? Oh. <laughs> Coming, Ramona. Coming. Oh. Well, Kingfish, this is something, man. Well, thank goodness for the day my mother-in-law was born a clumsy ox. <laughs> now, now, Mama, you're going to be all right. You're back in New York now. Don't worry. Don't worry. Papa, I have it. Where is my Hubert? Now, now, Mama, George is with Hubert right now. George says it was something he wanted to talk to him about. Oh, Sapphire, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that George is so fond of Hubert. <laughs> Let me at him. Let me at him. I'll murder him. I'll murder him. I'll tear him apart. I'll rip him to pieces. Please, please. Oh, I'll take it easy, King. Oh, now, try it down, Kingfish. That's enough of this. And Mr. Smithers. I think the best thing for all parties concerned is for you to just drop out of sight. I think you ought to get out of town just as fast as you can. All right, all right. I don't want to start any trouble. I'll get out of town just as soon as I can. Okay, now come on, Kingfish. Kingfish was really worried. He'd know that if Sapphire ever found out that he had spent $2,000 promoting a romance between her mama and a love pirate, he'd be a dead duck. There he is. Thank you, Amos. Now, take it easy, Kingfish. Everything's gonna be all right. Yeah, with Smithers out of town and your mama-in-law laid up there in the polyclinic with her leg in a cast and can't start no trouble, you was done removed the bonehead of contention. Yeah, but I would, boys. I had the one that promoted this marriage. I had the one that told him Smithers was a millionaire. 
If Sapphire or her mama ever found out the truth about Smithers, my goose wouldn't only be cooked, but it would be parboiled and frigacied. Oh, <laughs> take it easy, Kingfish. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Well, I hope one thing, Kingfish, that you done learn your lesson, that this was just another one of your crazy schemes. Now, see here, Amos. Kingfish. Uh I ain't gonna give you no lecture, but if I was you, in the future, I'd stick right with the truth. Okay, okay. Handy, Amos is right. From now on, I'm gonna be above board with everybody. Always straight from the shoulder. Cards on the table. Come in. Uh, yes, sir. Could we help you? Yes, I'm looking for uh, a George Stevens. <laughs> George Stevens. <laughs> George Stevens. Yes, that's right. George Stevens. George Stevens. <laughs> George Stevens. Yeah, that name is slightly familiar. Are uh, you looking for this George Stevens to serve him with some kind of summons, I guess, huh? Oh, uh, then I guess you was one of them finance companies, huh? Nope. Oh, yeah. You with the government in some capacity, huh? No, not with the government. <laughs> I is George Stevens. How do you do? I'm Deputy Sheriff Williams from Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> I think you quit too soon. Uh, you, you is a deputy sheriff, and you want me? That's right. I'm looking for a little information. I understand this woman is your mother-in-law. <laughs> you want my mom-in-law? Yes, I want to question her about this fellow Smithers. He ran out on a woman up in Madison. He proposed marriage to her and then ran off with half a bank account and most of her jewels. Mister, you can't see my mom-in-law. And besides, she's in the polyclinic hospital. Why, you'd give the whole thing away. Uh, I, I mean, uh, you just can't. Listen, Stevens, all I'm interested in is Smithers. I don't know what your angle is in this, but you have him here by, say, four o'clock, or I'll go up and have a little talk with your mother-in-law. Understand? Yes, sir. See you at four with Smithers. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? Smithers is gone. Andy, I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't let that man talk to Mama. I got to figure a way out. I just can't let Sapphire or Mama know what this Smithers really was. They'd kill me, boy. Really kill me. Yeah. Well, if you could just find some way to stall the sheriff off, it shouldn't be too hard. After all, he's the only one that knows that the... Hello? Mystic nice to see Lodge Hall. Who? I said I'm looking for Hubert Smithers. You looking for him? Yes. He jilted me two years ago in Oregon. And where can I get a hope that Ramona Smith is stealing him away from me? I'll fix that hussy. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'll come right over. No, no. Don't come over here. No. <coughs> Holy mackerel, Andy. That's some woman he done jilted up in Oregon, and she's looking for mama. Hey, this is a mess. Oregon, Wisconsin, New York. Seems that for the past few years, old Smith has been smooching his way east. Andy, <laughs> this is the worst thing that ever done happened. I tell you, Andy. <laughs> yeah, what is it, lady? Uh, Mr. Kingfish. There's a lady out here from, uh, 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 Iowa. Iowa, and she says she's looking for Mr. Hubert Smithers, and she wants to talk to your mother-in-law. Tell her I ain't here. Tell her anything. And I'm going out the back way. This is terrible. Oh, take it easy, Kingfish. There's still 45 states that ain't been heard from yet. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. 
Calhoun. Calhoun, I gotta talk to you. <laughs> Calhoun, Calhoun. Yeah, yeah. What? What? The check is in the mail. Oh, how you can't fish? What's up, bum? Calhoun, I need legal advice now, worse than I ever did. Well, now, Kingfish, I ain't no bona fide attorney, but what is the Jewish proven? Calhoun, well, there's a deputy sheriff due in my office today at 4 o'clock to arrest my future father-in-law. Now, slow down, bubs. Now, slow down. How could a thing like that happen? You know this fella Smithers turned out to be a love pirate, don't you? That I know. And I got to keep this from my mother-in-law at all costs. That I know. Well, what is I going to do when this deputy sheriff comes in with a wand in one hand and a six-gun in the other? That I don't know. <laughs> That's only the half of it. There are three other women showed up this morning looking for him, and they all want to talk to my mother-in-law. Calhoun, what is I going to do? Well, now, Kingfish, suppose you were to tell this deputy sheriff and them three women that Smithers is among the unliving. Then they wouldn't have no reason to go see your mama-in-law. Oh, tell him that Smithers has decreased. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell him to know that he done met with some kind of unforeseen accident. K Kingfish, if I was you, here's what I would do. And that's the whole story, Mr. Sheriff. The late laminated Mr. Smithers has gone to his eternal reward. Well, this is quite a shock to me. I... Say, wait a minute. You didn't say anything about this this afternoon when I was here? Well, we just found it out. You see, Mr. Smithers, my mother-in-law eloped, and this terrible thing done happened to him on their honeymoon. Honeymoon? Uh, yes, sir. Kind of put a dap on the whole affair. <laughs> yeah, they went up to Niagara Falls, and he leaned over to admire the beauties of the fall. And he leaned just a wee bit too far. Now, you can take it from there. <laughs> oh, I don't know about this. Maybe you're telling the truth. But is there any confirmation? Yes. That's when we got the first word of it. From a manager of a sawmill up on the St. Lawrence River. It seemed this morning they were about to process a log when they noticed it was wearing a cutaway coat. <laughs> certainly wasn't what I expected. But I guess there's nothing I can do about it now. Oh. Terrible. Terrible. Terrible! <laughs> That's the way it is, Miss Thompson. You got here too late. Yes, Miss Thompson. Mr. Smithers is no longer with us. Oh, you mean he's passed on? Oh, no, no. At present, he may be among the live and kicking, but few, if any, ever come back from the French Foreign Legion. The French Foreign Legion? We, oui, madame. Poor Mr. Smithers, realizing that his sins was catching up with him, decided to throw his life away, and he joined the Legion. Oh, dear. Poor Hubert. He was so sweet. <laughs> yes, Miss Peabody, he left this morning. And few, if any, ever come back from the fever-ridden jungles of the Amazon. Oh, dear. Why did Hubert do it? He jilted me, but still I... I... don't you think I'll ever see him again? Well, I don't think so. I don't think any of them on this expedition is counting too much on getting back. Uh, we hear this morning that instead of canoes, there's all paddling up the river in coffins. <laughs> that was only a rumor, of course. Hmm. She 
You must be over to the polyclinic hospital with our mama. You get the axe and I'll get the saw and cut off the legs of my mother-in-law. <laughs> Yes? How do you do? I see this picture here in the paper of a Ramona Smith at this address who's engaged to a Hubert Smithers. Now, wait a minute here. Don't tell me that he jilted you, too. Oh, no, it's nothing like that. No, uh, you see, I happen to be Mrs. Hubert Smithers. <laughs> now, wait a minute here, miss. You mean to tell me that you was married to Hubert Smithers? Yes, I met him years ago. 26, in fact, he disappeared. I had the marriage annulled, but I've been looking for him ever since. Oh, maybe that's just a coincidence, uh, probably not the same man. Well, uh, he's a short man, about five foot seven, weighs about 135 pounds. No, this couldn't be the same man, cause the man that's engaged to my mother-in-law, oh, he eight or nine feet tall, and got a long beard like this. No, it couldn't be the same boy. Now, would you get out of here and don't come back, because we are leaving for California in the morning. Well, thank you. Uh, but if your mother-in-law would care to talk to me, she can reach me where I work. I start a new assignment tomorrow. Here's my card. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. to mine another hilarious story. It seems that this fellow went out to Chicago, and when he got off the train at the station, the fellow in the straw hat walked up to him, and then the fellow in the straw hat says, uh, Mr. I can tell from the looks that... <laughs> just before the rear end give up. <laughs> Holy mackerel, Kingfish. What's wrong? And the, that nurse down there. That's the Miss Smithers I was telling you about. Andy, she'll be in here in a minute. And if she sees Mama, we're sunk. Maybe we could hide her in here. Coming here next.
She's not one of my patients. Kingfish, how in the world did she get in here up on the tenth row? I don't know, but we got her just in time. Saving, yeah. you back to straighten this whole thing out. Well, I'm glad to be back. Only thing is... Now, listen, Hubert. You and me is engaged, and you is going through with this marriage. Oh, no, he's not. I married him 26 years ago in Texas. I have prior rights on it. Why, you and your... Oh, please, Texas. please, folks. The thing is, where is y'all going to go from here in? Now, as far as it stands, neither one of you is married to Mr. Smithers, and neither one of you has got no claims on him. Now, see here, Mr. Smithers, you're just going to have to make a decision. Which of these women are you going to marry? Well, you both say you love me, but I'm not sure which one loves me the most. Like a little time to think it over. Think it over? Now, see here, Hubert. Well, just till tomorrow. I promise you one thing. I'll go away with the one who wants me the most. Well, goodbye for a while. <laughs> well, I... I guess that's the only fair way to do it. Well, it's all right with me, because I know I'm the one that wants him the most. Oh, no, you're not. I'm the one who wants him the most. Don't you shout at me! <laughs> well, it wasn't too hard a decision to make. And I guess after all is said and done, you are the one who wants me the most. 